basically we're battling rocks. Our corn grows around stuff like that. And we plant around stuff like that. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Good morning. I got a front brake chamber. I think it's leaking internally. I'm gonna have to have somebody on the brakes for a minute. But dang, look at this. We're upgrading. If you don't remember, the old one split. And I had it taped to get home with it. So we're strapped on. Still missing one strap. I don't know where it went. Bought. We're gonna get into some spraying today. That's the goal, at least. So I'm gonna start filling the water tank. Got plenty of capacity. I got more ratchet straps for this, and for the fuel tank, and for the battery. Alrighty, let's see. Big hose, big hose. Right here. And my inoculant tank. Gotta put that on the chopper. Coming together. Well, we got some leaks. I'm draining it out some now so I can fix it. I fixed, I think the leaks here. That still needs to be a little tighter, but that is leaking. I put thread tape on it, but it clearly has some issues. So we'll drain down some water so we can do that. I was on the phone with Brittany talking about life and I didn't realize it was leaking. Still got a little drip there, I couldn't make it any tighter. Hopefully that solves some of our issues. This isn't hooked because I need another person. I'm gonna go grab a pair of pliers to tighten that up. See where we get to. Well, that was fun. Oh, I dropped my tape. Alrighty, go grab them and Tighten that first one up. Issues this morning. As you see, we got a little pond going on out here. Dump like 1,600 gallons because, well, 800 twice, so 1,600 gallons total. Because it was leaking. And then I fix the leak and then I make it worse. So it's got a tiny drip in one spot. But we're going to leave it like that. It's fresh water, anyways, at that point. So. We're going to go get the sprayer out and on the tractor. It's always something with trucks. I could hear this brake can leaking this morning. So I had somebody jump in and do it. So we'll definitely replace this because, well, yeah, that's cool. Didn't need that anyways. But I'll get two. This side's definitely getting replaced. The other side I'll probably uh, have and throw in. Now we're working on the sprayer. So, nothing fancy, nothing cool. Doesn't agitate well, not big. Three point hitch, it's nice for running over actual sprayed corn. You only got your tire tracks, but we're hooking everything else back up from being winterized so it all got taken apart. I see this broke off over the winter, which is just a fitting, a straight fitting, so we'll have to get that. Nothing too crazy. Sitting there eating some lunch, and the load of chemicals showed up. So we'll just move the sprayer out of the way so you can get in there later or get out of here. Hopefully, without knocking it over, I do get the wing down. shaky on a pallet.
guys. I always like good delivery guys. Yep, I love this truck. I need to give it some love, but it's running. I need to give everything some love. So we're gonna pull it out front and run through it, give it an oil change. Look at that, clean. I think fabric sheets are the way to go. If I put them in here, I don't see any sign of mice. Nothing in here at all, actually. Other than this seat needing some love, roof liner. I love running this thing. I don't run it as much as I should because, well, it's been on silage duty and Kevin runs it quite a bit. So if you haven't watched, if you're new to the channel, this is what got me really big into buying equipment. I purchased this truck. I got a tanker that goes on it. Uh, 37,500 37, gallon tanker. Put a front wall in it. it. Needs back wall and probably roof soon. It's got a lot of space in between that. So pick this truck up with the tanker, four grand. I'm quite a bit more into it, but it's a solid truck. Did a drive shaft last year. I've done rear suspension, the uh, housing. I need to do a motor. We're gonna run through the tranny, give it a hood, do a floor. But I'll, it's, I listed a lot of stuff there. It is a solid farm truck. That is to make it where it is. So I picked up this box out of Ohio and it was on a running gear. Um, so it's, it can slide on and off. And that was awesome. You like running the Mac? You like running the Mac. So, like I said, Kevin runs this most of the time. Uh, I want another R model in my life. They're just, they're just amazing trucks. I did do filters on this last year and it doesn't get enough miles. Um, but I'm trying to keep fresh oil in it because I know it needs a motor job at some point. So we'll drain oil out, check it out, put new oil in. I don't run enough miles. <laughs> I think I just, I did the math on the white truck. What was it? 2,000 miles a year I put on it. It's just as here to there, five miles field, stuff like that. This gets even less use than that. Now we're set up. Just loaded with water. Sprayer is just loaded with water. We're checking all the nozzles, making sure nothing's in its way. There it goes. So we're spraying water out right now. Like this, I'm gonna have to put a zip tie there just to hold that up and out of the way. Got a clamp. Modified this a little bit. Got rid of the fireman hose because that was a problem at both ends. So hoping that's long enough. We got a wicked leak as you see right there. That, that's part of why the whole yard's full of water because we filled it and then it, well, it was still full of water and still leaked. So I drained it out. I got a brand new one though. So we're thinking that gas gets junk or something. So we'll get this back empty and put that new one in, go from there. Cause we, we put silicone on it. We did everything. Also service the Mac. Andy's out here somewhere. He's been giving me a hand today. Um, oh, he never shut his window. So teaching Andy how to drive truck. Exactly what you guys want for entertainment, right? So, greased it. Um, 
oil change oil actually looked decent inside of it but i want to keep this motor running for a while got some work to do on the back check all the tires otherwise that's ready to run maybe wash the windows my dump trailer should be ready to run so i can just take this off throw it on the dump trailer yeah got some stuff to do on the chopper still but i guess tomorrow will be the day maybe we'll get into some spraying later Alrighty, first load just left got him loaded up got some leaks figured it out i forgot and buddy zach goss came and got some water uh for a septic system truck or uh porter john truck and i said yeah i got water come on down oh, i'm filling water trailer so i put the coupler back on here and then i tried to couple it all back together and it doesn't work when you do it that way so I've got it together and I'm like, uh-oh. Oh. Drains it right down to like the very last inch here. Oh. We gotta fix that water leak and I got some chemicals sitting on the top which we gotta clean up. Um, but otherwise, we'll pump down some water. My father did end up going spraying. I didn't expect him to do that. So. Me and Mr. Muddy from playing in my pool of water. Look at your paws. He's been chasing bees all morning, or all day, so. Alrighty, now we're spraying. Took us long enough, but hopefully this speeds it up quite a bit. We've got two loads sprayed, or nursed in. Um, I'm just gonna park this up, we're getting dark. My father did say that corn seed's coming up, that the corn is coming up, so. We'll see if we can get out of here before it's a little too dark, I don't know what fields he sprayed we're not going to go walk through the ones he just sprayed it's just not a good life decision there good start to the day or to spraying not to the day because it's almost dark we'll change that leaking fitting on the clean water tank uh tomorrow and then uh we'll hammer into it you ever been laying in your cornfield uh you ever been laying in your cornfield and looking at corn? People drive by with staring at you funny. But look at that corn. Oh yeah. Things look so good. See, even this one, battling with a rock. We'll give you a little bit of help, guy. So, or I guess it's girl. Corn plants, they're girls. The males are the ones that help germinate, I believe. I don't know, we're gonna have to Maybe someday we'll do a video with Master's Choice showing it off, but absolutely looking stellar. So, pretty excited on this. So, we're spraying right now to help battle these little weeds that are going to take off pretty quick. But our corn, if it's got a jump start, it will build a canopy and it will shade out the ground quicker. Um, and then that that's your your biggest weed control so as you see some of them are a little behind and that looks like it was in the row a little more yeah absolutely killer so let's see what it looks like where are we at see we're battling rocks our corn grows around stuff like that we plant around stuff like that I don't want to damage any of the roots I want a full oh that is beautiful great placement oh roots are looking good they're going all the way over damn I gotta dig around some more rocks precision planting sent out these the flags and everything Clearly all my corn's already up, so I'm late on that game. But I got this little tool, it's a tape measure, but it will also help me dig some in this rockier soil. We'll break up around it and see if we can get this whole, I know that was a bad angle, this whole plant to compare what's going on with the roots of, under it. Still don't have enough root broke up. 
this is a healthy plant and it's battling rocks this is kind of one of our rockier fields too oh, I might have broke some. oh look at that that is absolutely beautiful look at that root growth seed placement was really really well I'm actually pretty content with that so hope you guys are too I'm excited for this growing season take you guys along the whole ride keep banging out the videos I'm sure after first cutting daily content might go to every other but I know y'all will still support me on that it's a lot of work though but it's definitely worth it I really appreciate this up uh, well opportunity to bring you along opportunity to be on your channels and or on your TVs and you picking my channels see look we picked rocks and we just got rocks so it's getting dark though I'm gonna get out of here go home make some dinner and then do it all over again so I'll see you guys on the next video appreciate it have a good one